definitely have a lot of depth and a lot of experience. So I'm really pleased with the progress that we've made with the program. Uh, I think that we've got a very fine basketball team, and I certainly hope that we would be one of the teams that would be vying for a championship this year. I thought, despite the fact that we had so many injuries that limited our flexibility and our depth, that it also provided an enormous opportunity for those particular players that you mentioned to get valuable court time. The improvement, the competence, the uh, abilities to really solidify and have a chemistry develop was evident in their extended play on the court. So I'm thrilled. I think that Kayla Griffin is one of those players that can do anything on the court for you. She has the ability to play the point guard, the shooting guard now, which is something she didn't have last year. Strong forward, small forward, anything. She can do anything. And the same thing with Caroline Reeves. She also has great versatility. Joni Irvin is probably the fastest player in the league, and she has elevated her game to another level. So. Uh, all of them. I'm just so pleased with how they've developed as players and certainly as leaders on our team. Christina Santiago is arguably one of the best, if not the best player uh, in Cal Poly women's basketball history. And she is a phenomenal person, phenomenal player. With her being out last year, she was able to add a three-point shot to her arsenal. So having the versatility that Christina has to be all over the court, um, the kind of player that can be a double-double type of player, is quite impactful. And anybody on in the whole Big West Conference would love to have her on their squad. Can't she repeat? I think so. If we have some good success as a team, her skill level is certainly there that she no doubt is one of the best players in the league, if not the best player in the league. So uh, it's certainly a possibility, but obviously that award is almost always given to the top team. Christine Martin gives us a little bit more depth, again, at the three, four, and five positions. She can play inside, she can play outside, she extends the defense because she can really shoot the three ball. She also has incredible ability to be an offensive rebounder and attack the basket. She is somebody who is one of those hustle players that comes up with every kind of loose ball and somebody that we're really counting on to be a type of player that can get his points but also get his hustle points, which I think is huge for us setting a statement. Ariana Elegato, people haven't seen her yet, but she's fabulous. She is so much fun to watch. Her ability to penetrate and dish is likened to the likes of Steve Nash. She just has incredible vision. Uh, she's fun and exciting and just a ball of fire. So her in our lineup, I think, is solidifying our guard play and uh, making the show very fun to watch. have a great year. She's one of our best three-point shooters in the history of Cal Poly women's basketball. She certainly, when we have a competition between her and Clancy last year, they are neck and neck. So she's a tremendous three-point threat. Nothing is too far for her. She can shoot from half court and makes it look like a layup. She's so uh, comfortable shooting long range and has no hesitation whatsoever. She is such a deadly threat, people are going to have to pay attention to her. And if they want to double down on Christina Santiago or Molly Schlemer, or Abby Bletcher when she comes back, uh, we are going to punish some opposition with some great three-point shooting from Ashley Burns. Abby Bletcher is a tremendous player. Watching her grow through the last couple of years has been uh, so fun for a coach. She is our presence in the post that is a banger. She loves to hit people. To watch her be on the court and establish herself as a post player, back to the basket, scoring option, be able to get it into her, her kick back out is uh, a great strength of hers. Obviously, from a defensive standpoint, she's somebody who we really count on to hold down the fort for us in the middle. We cannot wait until she's ready to go. Uh, it looks like maybe December when she'll be back in our lineup uh, after her ACL or surgery this summer.
There's three players in particular that I think are going to make some major contributions for us. Brittany Woodard is the first one that I would like to comment on. She played at uh, Nevada Reno and transferred to us, and she is a tremendous athlete. She's smooth, and uh, when you see her on the court, we call her B-Wood, what's good with B-Wood. She is somebody who really has a great ability to shoot the three, penetrate, good defensive player, can really cover the court. So she's going to be a tremendous asset for us in our press, in our defense, and certainly in our scoring ability. Um, also, I've already mentioned, Ariana Elegato is a newcomer. Uh, that other people haven't seen. We've seen her and we know what she can do and as I said she's showtime. She is so much fun to watch and be a great team member to help us move towards a championship. And then lastly I feel like uh, Kristen Ale, Ale. I always blew her name. Kristen Ale. Lefty that can shoot the three. She is tenacious. She is without fear and will drive the ball. She's playing like she's a seasoned professional right now and uh, really going to give us some nice abilities to help us at the two guard spot. Well, I think it's a very strong conference. I There's obviously some real question marks about what people are going to bring this year because every year all the programs seem to have great recruiting and they build up their programs to even greater heights than they were the year before. So I expect that the Big West will be some real surprises. There's been some people that uh, are programs that may not have had great successes in the past as far as wins and losses, but we're right there. And those programs, speaking from experience where Cal Poly had been in the past, when you're right there and you just get over the hump and you go that one or two extra points, all of a sudden those turn into wins. There's a number of programs that are in that position this year, which should make it a great uh, competitive season and I think something that every, anybody who's watching the Big West will keep their eyes on. I'll tell you, before we went on the foreign tour, I really felt like it was just kind of a bonus thing, a nice thing for the players to do. But from a coaching standpoint, it's one of the best things that we've ever been able to do at Cal Poly. Uh, number one, the ability that we had to actually practice 10 practices before we went on the tour really brought the team together and we were already a pretty close team but the chemistry that was formulated during those early beginnings was really instrumental for us. A lot of other programs may have opportunities to train earlier in the year if they're on the semester. Cal Poly hasn't had that ability so for us to get those 10 extra practices which kind of put us in the same line with semester schools it was fabulous. So I thought that was really valuable but then when we went to Costa Rica incredible country, incredible opportunity. Uh, our students were able to see things that they've never seen before. We had plenty of players that had never been out of the country. They got to speak Spanish. We only had one player on our team that hadn't had Spanish in her background. So they all got to utilize a skill that they've been trained to do in high school, junior high school, college. And seeing them operate, representing Cal Poly and operating in a foreign country, seeing the great benefits that they have being Americans financially, the great opportunity they have to study, all those things I think really enrich them as people. Then from a basketball standpoint, we were able to do so many things, not just collectively to develop the chemistry of the team, but on the court as well. We got to experiment with things that we've never been able to do again at this phase of your development for a basketball season. So it was, uh, it was a real blessing. It, was one of the best things Cal Poly has been able to do and uh, I'm really proud that our supporters were able to help us get there and that our student athletes really relished and took advantage of the great opportunity that was afforded them and it was really life-changing. Would you do it again? Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs>